I certainly don't see my head. There's no head where I am. Now you'll say, of course, of course you've got a head. And all I can say is, well, yes, according to the conventional reality, the conventional belief, I've got a head. But that is not what I'm experiencing right now. Sure, there are sensations. Sure, there are things that I can touch and little bits that I see. But that's it. The notion that I've got a head is based on conventional reality. It's based on trying to interpret these sensations. It's not just being with the sensations. It's about trying to interpret the sensations. This is the difference. Obviously, I have not got a head. There's no head here. There's one over there. I can see it over there. But it's not here. Now this might sound like just a clever argument. But it's your argument that's the clever one. The one that insists that I've got a head. It's obvious that there is no head here. The head is over there. It's the one that I'm looking at in the video camera screen. Or, if you were here, it would be your head. So, this is what the present moment reveals. It reveals no head. <clears throat> now, you probably find this hard to believe. But then it's not about belief, is it? Let's take another little example. Sound. There are cars going by in the street. That's the story. And I, we can hear them go by. I can hear them go by. That's the reality that we, we ascribe to. Now, where does that sound? Is the sound out there? We see that we we say that the sound is out there, but that's not where I'm experiencing it. The sound is right here. That is the experiencing in the moment. The sound is right here. Then we interpret that sound and we say, well that is the sound of a car outside passing by. That's a conventional reality. It's not my experience. It's not what's actually going on in me. I deny what's going on in me and I replace it by the conventional story. That sound is right here. It can't possibly, possibly be anywhere else. It's when we move away from the moment that we say that it's out there. But it's right here. There's more I can say about that because if that's true of sound, 
of our sight and all the other senses. I'll come back to that in a short while. But I just wanted to say about blowing ourselves open to the moment again. Because where I am right now Well, there's no Bill Gillis here. There are experiences. And then you might ask, well, if you're, quite, if you're that way inclined, well, who's experiencing it? Okay, now we're getting caught with language. If I wanted to be more precise, I would say there is experiencing. Experiencing. There is a field of experiencing. There's a lot of experiencing going on. That's about all you can say, really. There's no inside and there's no outside. There's no self, there's no world. There's just that experiencing, a field of experiencing. That is what is in the present moment. That is what is obvious. You've got to be able to let go of yourself. I suppose that takes a lot of trusting. We want to hang on to ourselves. But let's have a look at what's going on now. At the present moment, there is the field of experiencing. That's all. But that's everything. That field of experiencing gets split up. Is split up by a cognitive process. We identify aspects of that field of experiencing, a bit like whirlpools forming in a, a stream, a stream of water. Little patterns forming, and these patterns get identified. They get labelled. Uh, they get some of them will, ha will have an emotional relationship with them a positive one, a negative one, or a neutral one. I think a bit more about, more about what I was saying earlier on. I said the sound of the passing car is right here. There's the old conundrum of if a tree cr crashes to the ground in a remote forest, does it make a sound if there's no one here there to hear it? And the answer is quite simply, no it doesn't. A sound is an experience. There's no one there to experience it. There's no sound. Because I said, as I said with the passing car, the sound is right here. It's right here. Then, by virtue of the cognitive process, that process whereby we create conventional reality, or conventional reality is created, you say it's out there. And we can say that of all sounds, can't we? 